All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely hit subscribe here on YouTube. Today, I am back in Tableau. I'm going to put together this, uh, this dashboard here. So this is a dashboard with multiple elements and a little bit of style, right? So this is more of a beginner level dashboard that I think is going to whet your appetite to want to learn more. If you've never put together a Tableau dashboard in your life, this tutorial will go a long way towards introducing you to some basic Tableau visualizations. If you're more of an intermediate user, still stick around and watch. Just pat yourself on the back for knowing 90% of what I'm going to show you. So this is the first part of a two-part video. In this first video, I'm going to show you how to put together the building blocks to the dashboard, right? So we've got a line chart with forecasting, right? Then we have a, a map, we have a heat map, and we have a bar chart, right? So we're going to put together these building blocks. In the second part of this lesson, we'll do dashboard layouts and formatting. Uh, we'll cover uh, filtering. Uh, an LOD, we'll, we'll use an LOD expression, level of detail, and then the parameter action, which drives the dashboard. So you'll see as I move along the time series here, uh, all of my visualizations are changing with respect to the numbers that they report, right? Even that uh, the orders up here in the upper left are going to change as well. So what it's showing is the total number of orders since a specific date as I move uh, closer and closer towards uh, today's actual date. So we're going to put together this dashboard here. So how do we get started putting together something like this? So what we're going to do, I'm going to go into uh, a blank uh, Tableau sheet here. And we're going to put together the order line chart. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a calculated field. And it's simply going to be count D order, oops, if I can spell, order ID. So this is a distinct count, right? Count distinct order ID. So I'll even change the name here. Let's call this distinct count order ID. And if I can spell distinct count order ID. Okay, perfect. And so if we take a look at the data, if we peek at the data real quick, again, this is standard Tableau Superstore data that can be easily found. It comes with Tableau, right? So you should have this data. Let's take a look at the order ID here. And you'll notice, let's take a look at these seven uh, products right here, these orders ID. There's seven different order IDs here, but it's one distinct ID. So I'm counting distinct IDs, right? There's not going to be seven, there's not going to be a seven count for this order ID. It's going to be one. So I just want to show you that, right? There are different products, but I'm counting this as one order. So as we go back to our order line chart here, um, what we want to do now is let's, uh, let's put our month of order date on columns, right? So if I go to month of, uh, if, I, if I grab order date, let's put that on columns, and I want that to be the month. And I know that looks a little weird now, but we're going to drag the, uh, the, uh, our, our count of, uh, our distinct count, I should say, and, you know, you can do this, right, if you never use distinct count of order ID. There it is. Let's put that on the rows. There we go. And you will notice that we have a nice little time series going on here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the axis and just clean up here. I don't want, I don't want to show the title. That's fine, and we're going to do this. A lot of Tableau is formatting, so that's just something that we have to get used to, and sometimes it's not in the most intuitive places. So, All right, so there we have this, and what I can do, I'm going to go to the analytics pane. I'm going to grab the uh, forecast. Um, uh, there we go, forecast. Let's drag it over here, and you'll see I get a forecast. This is not supported by real data, but this is Tableau making a guess 
on what data will be in 2020. We don't have any data in 2020, right? This Tableau making a guess. And you'll also notice here, I don't have a connecting line between November and December. What I can do though, if I go over here and change this to an attribute, I get that connecting line. So that's how you do that. Now I have a whole video on how to determine if your forecast in Tableau is a good one. So definitely check out that, that video. We're not going to get into that here, but just know that this is how you put a forecast um, into your visualization in Tableau. So let's do a little bit of formatting. Again, Let's. Uh, I want to go with uh, on the estimate. I want to use a little bit of a, um, I'm going to double click here. I want, to, I want a little bit of an orange here. And we'll say OK so I get that orange shading. Uh, that is good. And um, let's go back to color here and let's just use a second option here so I get some, some dots here on my, um, on my visualization for these specific months. So we've got that. Um, let's go ahead and do some formatting. Let's get rid of this right here. Um, I'm going to go to, whoops, right click, format, right? And, you know, it, it can be a pain sometimes knowing how to, where to go to get rid of your lines. But uh, I want to go to format and uh, lines right here. And then on the rows, I want to select grid lines and let's say none, those drop off. And then on the sheet, if I go axis rulers, none, these drop off here. That's good. Um, just want to make sure if I go to rows and columns, that's gone. And again, I'm going to go back to sheet and just shut everything down. My zero lines go away and that gets rid of that line right there. So we have our order line chart, right? So that is part one. Um, oh, one last thing here on our tool tip. I'm going to get rid of uh, all of this and then I have a tool tip right here. I'm just going to put this information in. You're like, whoa, what's, what's going on here? I'll explain it. So this is just saying, hey, show the month of the order date and you don't have to, you know, memorize this. You can go insert and it will show month of order date. You can select that, it'll put it here. I typed in total number of orders and then the distinct count of order ID. You gotta have some sort of uh, aggregation if you're showing in a tooltip. So that's why this AGG function is here. And again, I could have easily just selected here. And if I say okay, now as I go to uh, if I move down the time series, I get that tooltip. So that's how we do the order line chart. Now we're going to do a map. So let's do that. Uh, I'm going to double click. Let's go over here. Uh, go to data pane. Let's get rid of this search. I'm going to double click state. And you'll see that puts a, let's go minus minus here, right? That gives us some, some data points here and it, and it sets up a map, right? So that, that is good. Um, let's drag our, uh, our distinct count of order ID to color. So if I go distinct count of order ID, I'm going to drag that to color. Boom, that, that fills in. That's good. And if I go to label here, let's show our mark labels. That's great. It's going to show that distinct count of order ID by state, right? So that's, that's really helpful. Now I'm going to create a parameter, right? Um, let's go ahead and do that. Create a parameter. And I'm going to call it order start date. Order start date. Parameter is already there. Let's make sure that it is a date. Right? And I want to make this uh, uh, allowable values. We're going to make this a range. And we want to set from our order date, set from a field order date, right? And our minimum and maximum, that's great. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to just show it, show that parameter control right there. And let's make that the minimum date. So that's the minimum date in our data set. Now, let's create a calculated field. So this is a very powerful calculated field that we are going to create here and you'll see how this comes into play. So we're going to create that calculated field and then we're going to call that 
date range. So you'll see how this comes into play as we build out this dashboard. Date range, I'm gonna paste this in here and we'll say, what this saying is, if our order date is greater than the order start date parameter, which we just created, and the order date is less than, now this is what we call a level of detail function. So I want to know what is the maximum order date in my set, right? So I could do max order date, but what I'm saying is I want it always to be at the, um, at the highest level of aggregation uh, in the data. So that's why I have a fixed. So it doesn't matter what else I bring into this visualization. It's always going to show me that max um, of order date, right? So again, we're, this will come into play as we build out the dashboard. Just know you need this calculated function right now, right? All right, so we have that. I'm going to I'm going to show the filter. We just created that um, date range. So let's let's uh, date range. I'm just going to show the filter. Great. And then I only want to show where it's true, right? So you'll see how that comes into play later. Um, let's do a little formatting now. Um, you know, we could leave it blue, but I like doing a little uh, formatting here. Let's go custom sequential. And let's pick red. I like red for the pop here. We'll hit apply. And you'll see we get that uh, California with the most distinct uh, count of order IDs gets the deepest, darkest red. Uh, we can also go back to colors and change the border if we want to. So I'm going to give it this little orange just to make it pop a little bit. So I like that. And we're going to go into map layers here. Um, map layers and we're going to turn off everything keep everything fresh and clean here as you can see nothing else checked so we have the US here in a vacuum right perfect that is how we like it I could go in here let's do this uh, on my font let's bold that let's bold the numbers uh, a little bit and uh, we can also, if I go in here, I, I want to get rid of these borders here. So if I go into format, again, a lot of formatting in, in Tableau. We're going to format the borders. We're going to go to the sheet here. And on our, oops, format the borders, right? On our sheet, on our row dividers, right? We're going to say none. That gets rid of that. And on our column divider, we're also going to say none. So that gets rid of that. So now we're truly uh, fresh and clean here. So we have our order line chart. We have our order map. Now we're going to make a heat map, right? So let's drag our ship status. Let's go over here, uh, find our ship status, and let's drag that to our columns. Oops. Ship status to columns. All right, that works. And let's drag our ship mode to rows. And you'll see we have this. Uh, let's let's make this entire view. So we have this uh, this setup right here. And now I'm going to take our distinct count of order ID, which we just created. Uh, where is our distinct? Oh, so it's down here in measures, right? We're going to drag that to color. That's going to give everything uh, a little color here. And then on the label, I want to show the mark labels. Perfect. And then on alignment, let's make that in the middle. And I can go in here to text, oh, font. I can make that bold, make that stand out a little bit. And we can also, so if I go to colors here, again, uh, I, can, I can do the orange if I want to. And then I can go back in here, edit the colors. Uh, same deal here custom sequential and I'm going to make this uh, my custom orange color here and say okay there we go so now we have this nice little uh, heat map going on and let's do a little formatting we're going to go to format uh, on the borders right sheet row dividers let's turn that off and now we, we got rid of that line across the top. So 
that's how we do our ship status heat map. Uh, another thing we're going to want to do here is take our, our date range and trust me on this. Uh, our date range is bring that to filters and make sure that that is true. I'm going to say OK. And I'm just going back here. OK, we also have that true there. So, so now, last but not least, in this first, um, in this first uh, uh, series here, we're going to make a bar chart. So let's take our distinct count of order IDs. And let's drag that to columns. So I'm going to put that up here. All right, great. And then we're going to take our segment. Uh, where is our segment? Uh, should be a dimension. We're going to put that on rows. All right, so we've got a bar chart going on there. We'll show the entire view. Perfect. I want to go back to here and make sure this is right. So we want to sort on manual. And I want to make sure that my same day is first. Then we got uh, first class, second class, and then standard class last. So that's that's good. And then we got shipped early, shipped late, and shipped on time for the ship status. I want to sort here. Uh, again, same deal, manual. I want to make sure that my shipped early, shipped on time, and shipped late. So OK. So we've got that. That's how you sort manually. Going back to the bar chart. Um, consumer corporate home office, that's fine. I, I, I don't have a problem with that. Only thing we have to do here is do the formatting, right? So if we go into formatting, uh, I'm going to hide the segment and the distinct uh, order count. Uh, if I go in here oops, real quick, let's do this real quick. Let's uh, hide field labels for rows and let's hide the, um, uh, if I check show header, okay, that's perfect. I'll take that. Uh, so we got that nice and clean. So now we've already formatted here. And so we're going to, um, uh, let's, let's go to color real quick. Uh, if, I, if I change the color to white, that disappears. But if I go to border now, right, uh, make the border, I can make that border orange. So that shows back up. Perfect. Um, I can go to format lines. I go format lines and on the sheet, I can go to axis rulers, none, right? And then I can go to um, format lines on the columns, format lines on the columns. I can make the grid lines none, right? That gets rid of our grid lines here. And you'll see I still kind of have this, this line here. So if I go back to sheet, I want to make sure. I, I basically turn off everything. There's zero lines. Let's turn that off. All right, so that goes away. So now we have this kind of uh, very clean uh, visualization uh, date range to filters there we go I want to make sure that that is true I'm going to say okay and then I'm going to take that distinct order ID count put that on label and if we do some uh, some alignment here if I make that middle perfect and I go into the font and we're just going to turn that up let's turn that up to like 28 something big there we go so you'll see what we put together here we put together the order line chart the order map the ship status heat map and the segment bar chart so in part two again getting back in part two we're going to align all of these uh these different elements into a dashboard so you'll see how uh the, the layout comes together you'll see how the parameter comes together the parameter actions come together so we get that interactivity so this has been anthony smoke again if you're a beginner hopefully you found this useful i want you to get out there do some great things with your data thanks for watching everybody